Hi, and welcome to M0A's video podcast, episode number 21, Supplemental Oxygen Requirements. I'm your host, Jason Shepard. Your oxygen requirements are crucial to pass any pilot test, along with getting along in real-world flying. When you start to step up in the altitudes, it's important to know when you need oxygen and when your passengers need oxygen. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Our supplemental oxygen requirements can be found in the FAR AIM under Part 91, Section 211 to learn more about this. Basically, Section 211 states that from 12,500 feet MSL to 14,000 feet MSL, if you plan on flying at that altitude for more than 30 minutes, you're required to have oxygen. Now that means if you fly up there for 25 minutes and then descend down, you're not required to have oxygen. But if you plan on staying at those altitudes for more than 30 minutes, you must be on oxygen. Above that, above that 14,000 feet MSL to 15,000 feet MSL, the flight crew must be on oxygen at all times at these altitudes. That means as soon as you cross that 14,000 foot barrier, you must be on oxygen if you're in an unpressurized aircraft. And the last rule of thumb to remember is above 15,000 feet, of course, you're still going to be on oxygen, but now your passengers must be provided oxygen. The catch here is they don't have to use it. So above 15,000 feet, of course, you're still on oxygen. You must provide it to your passengers. However, they do not have to use it. That's all I have for you this week. Be sure to check out the website, m0a.com, for more great video and audio lessons. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya. You're on Bravo. You're short of Victor Alpha. You're a beam the Iberian. The beam Alpha, on the left there.